Hi guys, I'm so excited to be making Martha Stewart's Potpourri project with you today. This project is so simple. It only involves two to three steps and the materials smell amazing, so it'll make your whole home smell amazing before the project is even finished. We're using fresh flowers and essential oils. These two things are what make this project so great because it's super customizable. So if you have a local garden, a community garden, or your own garden, I highly recommend picking some fresh flowers that are bright, vibrant, and will look so beautiful in a decorative bowl placed in your powder room or given as a hostess gift. Now, this project not only smells so lovely, but it is also super easy to make, like I said. So follow along and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So let's start off with discussing the materials. First up, we have the parchment paper and the baking pan. We have the flowers and the lavender, which is our fixative, as well as this little bowl has our essential oil mixed with water because I wanted to dilute mine a little bit. And then of course this adorable decorative bowl, which is gonna house the potpourri. So I'm gonna start off by actually depetaling these flowers. The petals are what make up the potpourri, so it's an extremely important part of the DIY. So these petals are so vibrant and I can't get over the colors. Obviously when we place them in the oven, they're going to lose their rich hue, but for the time being, they're beautiful. I'm also going to set a few aside so I can add them back after the potpourri is done baking to add back that really gorgeous color. The colors that I chose are going to create a beautiful ombre effect, especially after it's done browning in the oven. I love to have a variety of petal colors and shapes, and that is what is so great about buying a bouquet instead of plucking some from a garden, although I do prefer to pluck from a garden, I just don't have access to a natural garden. Now I'm being conscientious of the leaves and leaving those out. You can actually include them. I just prefer not to. I like to keep this purely petals, but again, the leaves will dry out and also look great as a part of the potpourri. So not to worry if you have a few stems, leaves in there, it'll all work out in the end. So now I'm gonna take my fixative, which is the lavender. I kind of cut these up a little bit because I like to have a variation of lengths and sizes. So it is going to be both short and long stems of lavender. And again, that's our fixative. So that's gonna be our anchoring scent, if you will. I'm just kind of pushing these petals out of the way so we have enough room to work. And now I am unfolding the parchment paper, which will protect our baking sheet when we put these petals in the oven. And I'm gonna sprinkle them just evenly in one layer to make sure that everything gets evenly baked in the oven. And I just picked out a leaf, which is totally fine. I could have left it in there, but I decided not to. These colors are so beautiful, but don't get your heart set on them yet because after it goes in the oven, it will of course change colors and will dry out the flowers. It's like an expedited flower drying process. Instead of just hanging the flowers up to dry, we are baking them and making it a quick go of it. And now I'm sprinkling in the smaller flowers. And honestly, this is gorgeous as it's on its own alive, but we all know that live flowers plucked petals will not last super long. So it's good for placing it in the oven. And now I'm just adding in the fixative, which is the lavender sprigs. And in they go with the petals, making sure I've gotten everything. And everything is in a nice even layer on the pan so everything can bake evenly. And there you have it. Get this in the oven at 275 degrees for an hour. A quick tip while the potpourri is in the oven, just wanted to note that while it is great to choose colorful flowers, the flowers will dry out in the oven, so the colors will change. Um, the longer you put it in the oven for, we recommend about an hour, will really change the colors. So if you want something a little more vibrant, I recommend leaving it in for a fraction of the time or just using different types of flowers that will dry out in a really pretty color. Now we have taken out our beautiful potpourri from the oven and there's only two more steps and that is to add the essential oils and to add this to my gorgeous bowl. Another quick tip is when using essential oils, you can dilute it a little bit with some water to really make sure that the essential oils get spread out when you're mixing the potpourri together. This will ensure that all the petals get a little scent to it and it makes the scent a little more subtle. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the essential oils mixed with water, again, because I wanted to dilute that a bit. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over the mixture 
of petals and then give that a good toss, making sure that the flowers get an even amount. So now I'm just going to be placing the petals in the bowl and putting in my lavender sprigs because they're just gorgeous. I think I'll also add some fresh lavender to this as well, just to make sure that the scent really does ring throughout. So here I go. Now I'm just putting some of the brighter ones up top to make it super pretty. And that's about it. That is the super easy DIY. And now you have your very own potpourri. If you are a huge fan, you can obviously not dilute the essential oil. It will just be much more fragrant. Some essential oil options are lavender, but if you're not a big lavender fan, you can also use mint or lemon. And there's plenty of essential oils, each having their own reaction with the human body. So if you want something a little more brightening, I would recommend lemon. If you want something calming, I would recommend lavender. If you want something to wake you up a little bit, definitely mint will help keep you focused and wake you up. So it's a really subtle fragrance, again, depending on how many drops you choose to use. I chose to use about 10 drops because I really wanted to coat everything. Um, I also diluted it with a little bit of water because I wanted to make enough potpourri for a few different bowls. So again, this makes for a lovely hostess gift and it just smells amazing and really helps brighten up any room. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and enjoy your new potpourri.